Hey guys, Katie Joe with The Soil Bar. I'm back again today to give you more tips on propagating your own plants so you can make more plants and share them with your friends. So this is my favorite plant of the day. This is a Peperomia beetle. Look at them, they look like little watermelons. Oh, they're so cute. And these, what we call, let's see, that little space right there in between the leaves, that's the node. And from each one of those nodes will grow roots. Let's see if you can see. You can kind of see right there. Sorry, my hands are shaking. I'm holding it with my left hand. So those roots will innervate and dig into the soil to kind of latch on and root. So what you can do is, is you can just cut off a piece. Well, you know, a couple inches long like these here. And you can just lay them down in some moistened soil. So now I'm going to give you my favorite tip. Okay, so all this costs to make more plants is $2.50, since now it's the $1.25 tree. You're going to look for plastic containers. I like the ones that have dividers in case I want to put different types of cuttings in each one. Or if one cutting dies, I don't want to contaminate the rest of the rest of the plant. So, and all you're going to do is, is get two of them. Like this is the bottom of the container. Just put a piece of clear tape along the back and you've got yourself a perfect lid. And this is so easy to care for, you rarely have to water it because you have this cover on. It's going to build up condensation on the top and just like the greenhouse effect, it's going to cycle that water through. So it could be every three weeks even um, that you need to water this. It really just depends. And say initially you're a little heavy handed, you get too much water in here, like this is a little soggy, that's a little bit too wet. Then just leave the cover off, leave it open, let some of that evaporate, close the cover and put it back on the next day. Place it in like on a window seal, um, like a shelf near the window. Just make sure it's not too drafty and cold. And seriously, you can forget about it and it's like Christmas a month later. You have your own happy, beautiful, little peperomia starters that you can share with your friends. One more last tip before I go. I suggest, because these are all going to root directly into that soil there. So what I do is I take a spatula and I just scoop out from the bottom, lift it up the whole thing. And then I have a bed of soil prepared in a pot and I just place that right on there once it's rooted. And all you gotta do is just kind of check to see if it's rooted. Usually you can see, I just put these in here so they're not, you'll just see some little roots there or you can just give it a slight pull if it doesn't come up right away, it's probably rooted in.